Hi, welcome to The Knit Shift, episode 32. My name is Lara, and today is Thursday, November 12th, 2015. Normally, I say good morning because I always record in the morning, so I had to really stop myself from doing that. Um, it's Thursday afternoon, it's really sunny, so I'm hoping I have good light and I don't totally look like an angel with lit from behind from the my, my porch door right there. Um, I would normally be at work right now, but I took today off. We've had a couple of really busy weeks. Um, we launched a new content management system, launched a new website, uh, had elections, and I've had a couple of, I had manager training, so I've had a really, a couple of really long days, and I decided to, I have one personal day left for this year, and I said, you know what, today's going to be that day, so, um, I'm really exhausted and I really thought about not recording, but I felt really guilty if I skip a week. So um, here I am. Hello. If you're new here, this is a knitting podcast. Um, I talk about knitting, yarn, my life. I'm a journalist in Southeast Virginia. Um, I'm an editor. I work evenings, hence the name of this podcast, The Knit Shift. I'm on Instagram as Laura Mahalski. I'm on Ravelry as Yarnstormer, and we have a group for the podcast over there called The Knit Shift, so come check it out. And show notes can be found at theknitshift.com. Um, in the interest of expediency, I'm not going to put the type up on the bottom of the podcast like I normally do, but you can go to the blog and find my Instagram name because my last name is weird. So anyway, um, episode 32, here we are. I have a few things to share with you this week. I'm going to remind you about a pattern giveaway I'm hosting. I have a new finished object and, object, and I have a little bit of stash enhancement. I feel like I'm not going to talk very well because I'm really tired. I just said object, O-B-J-E-C-K, object. So anyway, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little loopy. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'm hosting a giveaway for the Esther Bell shout Esther Bell shawl. See, see what I mean? Hopefully this will be a fast episode and I can stop talking and sounding really goofy. Um, Esther Bell shawl by Emily of Fibertown Designs and the Fibertown podcast. It is a lovely shawl. She named it for her great grandma and it requires two skeins of fingering weight yarn or two skeins of sport weight yarn. And I'm hosting a giveaway in the Ravelry group for the podcast. Um, so you have to be a member of the group to participate. Um, basically the prompt for the giveaway is tell me about someone who inspires you since Emily named the shawl for her great grandma who inspires her. Um, and I, we've gotten some really, I've, I've received some really nice uh, posts in there. I was really touched by what you guys had to say. So keep them coming if you're interested in winning a copy of the pattern, which was very generously donated by Emily. And if you haven't seen her podcast, the Fibertown podcast, please check it out. It's a good one. Um, and the deadline to enter is November 17th, which is Tuesday. So that's coming up pretty soon. So please enter if uh, you see this in time. And I'll draw the winner in the next episode, in episode 33. So stay tuned for that. This brings us to finished objects. I have a pair of socks to show you. Um, I tried to find my sock blockers, but I was I could not find them and was not bothered enough to hunt to hunt for them so you get to see them just uh, by my hands so I decided to make these into ankle socks today um, I have been knitting these for a while I knit these two at a time toe up and um, let me hold these closely so you can see this beautiful beautiful luscious yarn this is Miss Babs yummy two ply it's a 100% superwash merino 400 yard skein and the colorway is called perfectly reckless there we go it is so pretty it is greens it's like a mucky green which i really kind of got grouped together here on the uh, gusset of my sock quite well some mucky greens navy blues reds lilac uh, not lilac fuchsias burgundies, a little bit of rusty orange right there, um, silvers and golds. I just really love this yarn. Um, I wouldn't normally, I try not to knit socks out of 100% merino because th without the nylon they just won't wear as well, but I went down a needle size. I used a size one which is 
why can I never remember? Is it 2.25 millimeter? Yes, 2.25 millimeter. I use my trusty Chai Gu uh, needles, which I really love. They're nice and sharp and um, just have a really good tip. In fact, I often, I, I have a little scar on my finger from stabbing myself where I use my finger to poke through to push the stitches, push the needle down. Um, so I knit these two at a time on a magic loop on my size one chai goos. I cast on, I believe, 16 and 16, so 32 total with Judy's Magic Cast On. I increased every round until I hit 48 stitches, and then I increased every third round, so I would knit around, knit around, increase round, knit around, knit around, increase round, until I hit, I believe, 64 or 68 stitches. I did two by two ribs, so it's really nice and squishy and fits my foot. You know, people were asking me when I was getting my hair cut a couple months ago, um, a hairstylist who was not who was not my hairstylist but had nothing to do was just kind of making small talk while I was um, waiting for my appointment. And she said, oh, are those for a kid? And I said, no, they're for me. It's just, you know, two by two rib is really, really stretchy. So these will fit my feet, no problem. Um, I did a gusset. I did a toe-up gusset and heel flap. So there's my happy little gusset. Like, if you're familiar with um, the PBS show Bob Ross from the 70s, Bob Ross and his happy little trees. Here's my happy little gusset. And I did a slip stitch heel to kind of reinforce it a little bit. It'd be great if it could focus. There we go. Yeah, so really pretty yarn. I love this so much. And I have quite a bit left over for some mini skeins. I will definitely be putting this in my sock yarn blanket. So probably 30 or 40 grams left, I'm thinking. Um, part of the reason I decided to make these ankle socks is I wear a pair of, I have a pair of really low boots and I like to wear hand knit socks in them, but my socks often, often stick up. So I wanted to knit myself a pair of socks that I could easily wear in the boot. Um, so that's one reason. And the other reason is I'm, um, eager to cast on my next pair of socks. I have been, um, I went to Saft two weeks ago, gosh, almost two weeks ago now, um, and I bought some Christmas yarn, and my friends who I traveled with, um, some of us bought Christmas yarn and went to knit some Christmas socks. So I just wound up hot off the, hot off the yarn swift in the winder, is this cake of yarn, which will be my next pair of socks. I have no um, works in progress to show you this week because I'm lazy. I'm just being honest here, guys. So this is a little washed out because of the the bright sun behind me, but this is a yarn I purchased, purchased at SAF. It is Gershubi Fiber Arts, and the colorway is called Sophie's Garden, and it is the Solfege sock base, Solfege, I don't know that word, I'll go with Solfage sock 7525 superwash merino nylon and 440 yards and there's her website so I'm really excited about this um, it's a pretty thin yarn but it has a nice tight twist so I'm probably going to use the size one needles that I just took off that I just used to knit my Miss Babs so I might cast these on later today we'll see um, I do have another pair of sock on the needles, but like I said, yeah, I'm lazy and I don't have a lot of progress, but I'm kind of hoping I might finish them by the next time I record, so stay tuned. That brings us to uh, yarns, which if you're new here is what I call my segment about stash enhancement. So let's back things up to about two and a half weeks ago before I went to SAF. Um, I had been knitting, well, let's back this up like six months. I knit myself a pie shawl out of Madeline Tosh um, Merino Light, which is a fingering weight, single ply, in a beautiful blue colorway. I loved it. It was tiny. I wanted to knit another pie shawl. So I went on webs and I bought cones of weaving, what ended up being weaving yarn, thinner than lace weight. Basically two strands of this yarn together is almost lace weight in a beautiful heather gray, um, I think it's Yorkshire something or other was the brand on super clearance. Now I know why it was on super clearance. You can't knit with it. You really can't. So I started knitting myself a, shawl, a pie shawl with it, um, two strands at a time, and it just 
it's really scratchy. It was not enjoyable because of the two uh, spider webs, what felt like spider web strands of yarn. So I decided to cut my losses and abandon that project. But before I went to SAF, I really, really, really wanted to buy yarn for a pie shawl so that I had, I could travel with both my two pairs of socks on the needles and then I would have a, a shawl on the needles. So I went to my local yarn store, uh, the Yarn Club in Virginia Beach, and I bought yarn for a pie shawl. So I will show, I didn't show it to you last week because I had plenty of saff yarn to show you and so I will show you, I figured I'd hold off on it and I'm glad I did so I'd have something else to show you. So here is what I bought. This is Madeline Tosh Prairie, which is a lace weight, 100% superwash merino wool. It's 840 yards and the color weight is charcoal. And I bought three skeins of it. So I have about 2,500 yards of lace weight gray for my pie shawl. And I have started this. I started this before I left for SAF and I love it. Um, I don't have much to show you, again, because of the whole mental exhaustion thing, but um, suffice to say, I am enjoying it. I haven't knit on it since Saf, but I love this sort of heathery gray. This is exactly what I wanted, and I'm so glad they had three skeins of it. So that's one bit of stash enhancement. <coughs> and the other bit of stash enhancement is something that happened after Saf, and... If you're like me, you go to yarn festivals and you're like, you feel satiated after you buy a lot of yarn. And I did, and I still do. But there was one skein of yarn. So when I when I purchased this lace weight, I learned that my local yarn store started carrying hedgehog fibers. And I messaged my travel buddies and I said, alert, this is not a drill. Our store carries hedgehog oh my god they have so, such a great selection oh my goodness but we all said no let's wait until we go to SAF you know we're gonna go to a yarn store Black Mountain Black Mountain yarn shop in Black Mountain North Carolina that store carries hedgehog let's be judicious and wait and see what they have so we did and they had a very nice selection but they did not have the yarn that really I couldn't stop thinking about so I went back to the, the yarn club in Virginia Beach a few days ago and a skein of hedgehog came home with me and I think this will become socks this is hedgehog fibers twist sock come on you can focus all right sorry that's not gonna focus it's a 365 meter uh, skein of yarn and curiously I really enjoy the math on this. It is 80% BFL, 10% nylon. There's a mystery 10%, you guys. I don't know what it is, but I love that there's a typo on this yarn label. I presume it's 80-20 BFL nylon because the regular sock is a 90-10 BFL nylon, and this is kind of a more traditional sock with what feels like more nylon. So I think this is probably 80-20 merino nylon so this is the colorway monarch and it is so fantastic there are peachy oranges and bright yellows and blacks and grays and there's even a bit of pink in here let me find it i thought there was more here's a little blip of it here um So yeah, this is just really lovely and I cannot wait to knit socks out of this. There we go. And it really is like a monarch butterfly. Um, I have no regrets about purchase, purchasing this despite my heavy purchasing at staff. Um, oh, here's the pink I wanted to show you. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's just scrumptious. I can't stop thinking about it. I've had it sitting next to me on my little stand here in the living room all week waiting to show you guys and I'm dying to cast this on so so that's it for my stash enhancement and that's probably the end of the episode um, thank you for sticking with me even though it's a very brief episode and I'm tired and feeling a little loopy I really appreciate it and come back next week we will have a drawing we I I'm not gonna talk in the royal we I will have a drawing for the winner of the Esther Bell shawl giveaway 
and maybe who knows we'll have a I'll have another finished pair of socks to show you so thanks for watching happy knitting and I'll talk to you guys soon bye